Hey, you guys, it's Adrian, also known as Capricorn Tigress of astrology a look inside and there is a piece of hair that no matter what I do it is like I'm I'm just pulling it right on out because it, it wasn't doing right <laughs> there's like one in my forehead right now like what is going on all best laid plans right and it's like all on the wrong side okay you guys look I am back because I have to do readings for the rest of the signs i have not i only did from scorpio to to aquarius and i promised you i would come back and i'm i didn't go live let me tell you something i i don't want to go live on on uh stream yard because i'm about to pause stream yard because it's 50 some dollars a month and unless it's worth it i it's a long story we're not going into that but we're going to do the reading let's do that <laughs> I mean, there's some options I think to StreamYard, but I love StreamYard. StreamYard is my favorite, really. It is. It, it's my favorite, but um, it's it's the most expensive. I'm only paying like eighteen dollars a month for Zoom because I I think I joined Zoom when it was really new. It's not very much money, so it's it just doesn't. Even though I can do more, I I have to outweigh because right now it's almost a hundred dollars for or more. I just can't do that just for all the video things I'm doing. So I love this though. I someone told me they had a three month uh uh um like a month like you could take three months probation or time off. I need to check on that. If that's true, I, I'll do that. You know? So it, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna find another song to play in the background. And we're going to start with right away. We're going to start right away with the sign of, I believe, Pisces. I think that's who we start with. And uh, we will do that. Let's see. I hope I'm doing the same. Oh, that's right. I was doing 10 spreads. I was trying to remember what I was doing. <laughs> doing 10 spreads. <clears throat> some basic 10 spreads that's all okay because you know i put my heart and soul into it so i just want to i don't want to use up all my little energies i've got my my uh my magic crystal with me here just to make sure i'm okay because i i will I'll, I'll expend all my energy trying to find or just grasping for let me see this is getting all my nerve hold on There we go. Like get, get back there and out of the way. There we go. <laughs> like get out of the way here. Let's do this. So the first sign we're doing tonight is going to be the incredible, amazing, and uh, often very psychic sign of Pisces. We're going to see what we got to tell Pisces and you know if it's something positive for them let's see what we got for them i'm doing basic 10 spreads you guys nothing fancy just getting that information out so that you have it for november it's already scorpio season so you know i feel like i'm a little late in getting some of this to you guys but uh, the messages will still pertain even though It'll be in time for November 1st, so we're doing it right. And the, these uh, messages are good from whenever you hear them, which could be in October or December. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. I if, if it's for your sign, then listen. If you see this video somewhere, listen and get that message because it's for you, okay? Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to change the song because I'm not feeling whatever this is. It's okay, but... You know. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. So the first 
card you got, Pisces, is the magician. And I love that you got the magician. First of all, it tells me that, um, well, you've got everything you need to get whatever you need done right now. You know, with Saturn being in Pisces, some Pisces might have been feeling like they've been doing a lot, like you've been working hard, putting forth a lot of energy. And I'm not sure if all Pisces has felt like they've gotten everything back because it's Saturn, right? So if, if there's any karmic things that need to be worked out, you're, you're probably working those out now. But I think with the magician, this is telling me you've got all the tools you need to succeed. If you haven't succeeded, I, I see that you have the potential for success. And look, you've got the three of cups that's crossing that. And that tells me that you're, you can probably have a lot of success when you're working with others. And I think that maybe a project that you're already, something you might've already been working on with other people is already starting to pay off for you, probably. I mean, with the magician, you can make anything happen. You've got all the tools you need to succeed. The only thing I find when the magician is the first card, sometimes that means your health might not be great. And that could be something. There's a two of swords too. And that tells me that I feel like some Pisces feel like they can't see to make some kind of decision or go what direction they need to go in. You might be confused like, oh man, I got to make this choice about this or that. And I'm not really sure like if I really want to make this choice, do I need to get more information? Do I have to do more research? You know, that type of thing. Whatever it is, I with the Empress coming out right after that, I just feel like, look, you're in the midst of, I think, building something new, something creative, like whatever you've been through. I think you, I look, here's the tower. So I feel like what it might've been is that you're building something new because you had everything you were working on might've stopped. Like you might have went through a period where you felt like you lost everything. Like you had to start over or you might be in the midst of starting over one of the things i'm picking up here especially with the fact that you had the magician first is that you're in the middle of trying to manifest this and make this true like you want to get this new beginning like whatever it is you're you're trying to create this new beginning right now and you're you're tired of dealing with you know the tower in those tower moments you're you're sick of that so if, if this is building a new um creative thing that you're working on a project a business a, a skill a relationship a family i mean it could literally be anything that you're working on building because i feel like one you're going to get it whatever it is because you got the sun and that sun is in, right now i feel like whatever it is right now and it wants to come to you and i understand that because it's scorpio season and scorpio season is trying pisces <laughs> and so as a pisces this is a time when you want to take advantage you know of this really good flowy vibe that you got right now you know i i hope you don't miss that because this is a really good flowing vibe for you and it's it's good i think for you to learn new things especially with the eight of pentacles that cropped up in the current position and with the eight of pentacles that is telling me that you're learning a new skill i feel like some pisces you're learning a new way of making money with the page of swords right after that yeah you might be even in a course i sense some of you are training you're learning new skills maybe so that you can make more money so that you can pursue your dreams, page of cups. You know, the when pigs fly card, you know, you might be um, really banking all your hopes and dreams on this wish, whatever this wish is that you have. So, you know, and you might, it might feel like when pigs fly because you might be learning something new, not really sure how you're gonna get it done, but I think you can get it done. Here's the Knight of Pentacles, and that is all about the money. So it might really all be about the Benjamins, learning this new skill, learning how to make money, um, getting more information, keeping your hopes and dreams alive. That's important. Sometimes we give up on our hopes and dreams when it seems like it's too hard to do, but don't do that. I sense that if you hold on, there's something good wants to come into you. 
I do sense with two pages though that there is something to do with young people or children. Like you might be training somebody that's young at your job, or you might uh, get a young uh, person like you have that you have to work with as a partner, or it might just be something to do with kids at your own home. It's something to do with young people. You might be influencing stuff going on in your life right now. So if you got young kids, you might be worried about them. It's something to do with young people, okay? But let's go over the major arcana because you've got four major arcana. I just want to go over it one more time, Pisces, just to make sure you, you understand. You got the magician, the empress, the tower, and the sun. And this tells me, first of all, you got all the tools you need to succeed no matter what's going on right now. And with the Empress, you're in the middle of creating something new, whatever it is. I want you to be creative. <clears throat> I want you to start something new. You know, after the tower, it's sometimes hard to start something new because you keep thinking, oh, what if I build it again and then I'm going to lose it again? Or what if this happens like it happened last time? But after that tower, you got the sun. That is you having victory, you winning. You are going to win. You have the three of cups here too. I just sense that you're win when you're dealing with other people, but you're going to win. Look at this on the bottom of the deck. It's the king of cups. It's you. <laughs> Told you. Hang in there. Whatever it is, you are going to win, Pisces, because you're win meant to win. It's Scorpio season. I want you to take advantage of this entire month of November and, and at least until the 21st, 22nd of November. Just do your thing have live big dream big i think the magician wants you to dream big anyway so do that okay pisces and good things will come your way you gotta believe good things that come your way for them to come sometime you know sometimes we block our own good by the negative thoughts and things that we think inside of our own heads but when we start thinking positive then we start getting the solutions and the answers that we need to have success success and it's all about success anyway isn't it right it's all about the success i just want to say that i hope you understand that and I'm, i just realized i hope i cut this down uh, low enough so that you guys can hear me so let's move on to the next sign <laughs> oh and by the way much much love to you pisces much love to all pisces out there so let's move on to the next sign. And the next sign is the sign of Aries. We're going to tell Aries a little bit of something, something here. Let's see what we got to tell Aries. Let's see here, Aries. Okay, so we're pulling 10 cards for the sign of Aries. And I am one of those people, I like poppers. I like the cards to kind of pop out at me i you know some people just spread them and pick 10 cards <laughs> i mean that's what you were supposed to do it um you know traditionally but i do find that it, it, it when the cards start slipping out and talking to me I, it, it just to me it means something more oh that reminds me you guys i forgot i had food in the oven so as soon as i finish breading this i'm gonna go and get that so just give me a second or my So I've got this for Pisces. Give me a second. I'm going to go pull the food out.
Okay. I am back. I admit I took a, a couple of bites of sweet potato. <laughs> it was too good to resist. Mm. I had to put it in there. So I'm going to have to go back in like oh, 10 minutes. So I might have to, to leave again. Let's pray I don't. Poor Aries. I'm so sorry. It's funny. Um, I have a progressed Aries rising. And um, I just feel like um, I got a special message for you guys. Look, we've got a four of cups as the first card. So it tells me whatever I say after this, some Aries are not feeling it. You're not feeling anything. You're you're so upset. You're upset because you don't understand why other people are getting stuff and you're not. You don't understand why whatever you started, whatever you wanted has not come out and worked out to your your um your favor yet. But I'm telling you, stop moping, stop complaining because the world car is crossing this. The the money, the success the material wealth, all of that, the, all of it wants to come into you, the travel, the the acclaim, it, it wants to come into you. I just feel like you've got to um, take some time and get back into your own, okay, Aries? I feel like you're off your game. You know, you need to get in there, pray, meditate, do binaural beats, do EFT tapping, go on a retreat. I don't know what you need to do, but something like that, you need to get back to your center because you're off centered. When you get back to your center, you're going to get to your ace of pentacles. That's your money. The money wants to come into you. The success wants to come into you, but you've got to get back into your center. I don't think you even know what to do really with the two of swords. Maybe you've been trying to figure out what you're going to do, what direction you're going to go in. And I just saw this combination a minute ago because you got the magician and this, this two of swords. Someone else got those two cards. And I just feel like you've got this potential to get everything you want. You got this potential to win at everything, but you may not see that. You may not believe that. And this is part of the issue is that you're, you're kind of like, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that all this stuff wants to come into me. I don't believe I'm the magician. It, it, this might be really hard for you, especially if you're not feeling good. So you don't even feel it right now because you're like, I don't got energy. I don't feel that great. And what are you talking about? I, I, I'm, I've got, I can win at everything. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. But I'm telling you, especially when it comes to money, because here is the nine of pentacles. So I feel like right now in the current position, you might be even working on something or in the midst of creating something that is going to lead to the Ace of Pentacles, but you just don't realize it yet. Oh yeah, here's the devil. The devil could be telling you in your head too that you're not good enough or that you can't do this or something might come up and block you. It might even be a person, could even be a Capricorn, but you know, you could be, it's like in your head, you know, the devil he plays you like a puppet, like in here, it's, it's like a person, like a puppet on a string. And it's, it's, it's playing with your biggest fears and emotions and your desires and, and all of those things. I mean, look, if, if we're not careful, we can really mess up our life because we're pursuing the wrong things or we're pursuing it to the exclusion of what we should be doing. Or, you know, that it doesn't lead to anything good if it ain't the right thing for us. But look, you got an ace of cups as well. I feel like you, it, something good really does want to come in. This is you getting your emotional fulfillment. This is you feeling like I finally made it. I finally got to whatever this is that will make you feel like, oh, I got to this, this level of success. I, I did it, you know? Whatever that is. Every, for everybody, it's different. Like whatever that thing is that will make you feel like, oh, I finally got there. So I don't know if, you know, what that is, but whatever it is, I really believe you're going to get it because after the Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. 
I'm telling you, your emotional fulfillment wants to come in. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. That is you really, really being emotionally fulfilled. So if the devil, if somebody is in your ear telling you what you can do, what you can't do, you know, what you what you what you capable of and what you're not capable of, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. If that's you in your own head with the four of cups as the first card, don't listen to that mess. That's you being down on yourself. You are capable of achieving so much, you just don't realize it yet. You had two aces in this reading. You had the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. That is money and emotional fulfillment. That is you getting everything pretty much. I mean, if it has to do with money or feeling emotionally fulfilled, I feel like you're going to get that. So Aries, there, you know, stop worrying. Look, you had four major arcana. You had the world, the hermit, the magician, and the devil. The world tells me that material success and 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 achievement and all of that wants to come into you. You might even get to travel, everything. But you have to get into your center. That's what the hermit is saying. You've got to go into yourself, into a place where you're praying and meditating and you're you're in a you're you're grounded. You know what I mean? So no matter what comes up against you, you're good. And when you get to that place, then you'll be able to achieve anything, the magician. Even when the world comes at you like the devil and you're tempted to do stupid things, you'll you'll be in a better place because you're grounded. You'll have that spiritual wisdom, that groundedness. On the bottom of the deck, the four of wands. I love it. First of all, the wands. And for Aries, that's great because you're a fire sign. And second of all, four of wands is celebrating. So I feel like once you get into your center, once you work all of that out, then you're going to get to your four of wands. You're going to have victory. You're going to feel, again, I'm getting emotional fulfillment. You're going to feel like, ah, oh, I finally made it. Let's have a party. Oh my God. I did it. And Aries, I feel like some of you guys have been waiting, you know, to feel like you've achieved it for a while. So good luck and good for you. And I'm glad that you got that reading. Mm. Now my throat is a little itchy and I hope I'm okay because I wanted to finish these readings tonight and I'm only 26 minutes in, but <coughs> I don't know if it's because the oven is on and it's getting smoky. But, um, and, uh, you guys hold on because I feel like I should be at least, that was at least eight minutes, right? I had that in there for nine, 10 minutes. Let me put this spread out for Taurus and then I'll go check and see what's going on over there. Let's see what we've got over here for Taurus. I might have to come back another day if I don't got enough energy. I can always do start and do some more tomorrow. How's that? Or even later tonight if I my energy comes back after eating, maybe. Let's see. We can at least, ooh, at least do the basics, you know? So we're on Taurus, right? Let's see what we've got here for Thomas. Oh, there was a couple of cards there. Okay, let's see here. One more for Taurus, and then I can oh, got two for some reason. I'll keep them. Okay, so let me go and get this food. And then when I come back, we'll be doing uh, the sign of Taurus. Okay.
Okay, you guys. I am. Um, it's it's really good, by the way. I had to taste the food. It's really good. No doubt about it. It's delicious. I made um. I made uh, potatoes. It was special potatoes that I cut up, like baked them. But I used um, ranch, bacon ranch dressing, which it, oh, it's so good. And garlic, so good. Anyway, let's do this reading for Taurus. And I have a Taurus moon. So here I am over here talking about food and making food. It's so a Taurus moon. The first card we got, Taurus, is the emperor. And the emperor is a card of Aries, but it is a leader's card. It lets me know whatever you're doing, you're the leader. You have to be the leader, I think, in whatever it is that you're doing in order for it to work out in your favor. This is like you being the person that makes the decision and makes the, you know, makes the final choice. There is a seven of pentacles and this might have to do with money. Maybe you're going into some type of venture or something, maybe even with other people. Like this looks like you're planning something. So maybe you might have planted some new AI business or something you're doing and you've got to be a boss. You've got to be a leader. You've got to be an executive. you got to make decisions. you got to be on it and you got to be ready to succeed. Look at this ace of wands. And I think you will succeed, Taurus. This is success. This is create creative success. Ace of wands is very creative. And I think this is when you use your creativity, I think you have success coming in, coming in very fast. Look at that, the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer, and I could be a cancer that you're dealing with. Look at that lover's card right after it. I think maybe some Tauruses are dealing with cancers, and it, I, it's very creative. It also, uh, cancers, um, yeah. Or even, uh, and here you are, a Queen of Pentacles. So I, I, I am seeing the potential for love uh, there for Taurus, um, perhaps. Uh, and, you know, here's the thing. You got the Queen of Pentacles, but you also got the Queen of Cups. And again, I'm sensing Cancer. So I, it, this could be, it's Scorpio season too. So this could be Scorpio. Don't forget Scorpio is your natural opposite sign. So if this is romantic, you might be getting or finding your natural partner, which is Scorpio. That's amazing. There's a four of pentacles here. So I do sense that maybe you're holding on to money. I, there's just this vibe like I need to hold on. But I do sense that when you're more generous, more will come into you. So learn to be giving and not to squeeze on too much when it comes to money and if you're already in a marriage or a relationship man this could be about money issues i don't know why i got the justice card sometimes that comes up when i'm dealing with marriage issues because you know justice i'm just thinking like if this is about you guys arguing over money and wealth and who got what and who did what and why that happened then this could be part of that too and you have to find a way to balance this out there was a six of cups and there could be like memories of when it didn't go right you know the six of cups tends to do that it 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 keeps us stuck in a way because we go back to that moment and we keep thinking about it and what happened and how it didn't happen and what we could have did different and sometimes especially if this is about a marriage that's already or a relationship and it didn't work out and you're just keep going over it again and again and again they call that ruminating so you might be doing that taurus this is why the seven of wands came out you need to get into your center you need to pray and meditate and you know eat good and drink well and pray and 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 maybe go on some type of retreat i told someone else to go on a retreat i mean you got to get to a good place and I feel like when it's when it gets to that point when we're not in a good place and we have to get to a good place, do what you have to do. Okay, do what you have to do to get there. You had two sevens. I just feel like that you are protected by the angels, like the God, the angels, your guardian angel. They're protecting you. Maybe it's women because you had two uh, queens. 
And I do sense that whatever help you get, it will come from women. Okay, so uh, note that. That Ace of Wands, as I mentioned, is uh, highly creative. But I just wanted to talk about the four major arcana that you got. And then I'm going to go and take a break because I am sweating and it, the house got hot after cooking. You had the Emperor, the Chariot, the Lovers, and the Justice card. The Emperor is saying you have to be a leader. And I, I believe with the Chariot that luck is coming. This could be a cancer you're dealing with. But I do have a feeling it has to do with love, some decision about love. And this is going to lead to justice. This could even be some Tauruses, you know, getting a divorce or finally making a decision about getting a divorce or something of that nature. So good luck, Taurus. I hope that this resonated with you. And I hope that whatever is going on, it's to your benefit. On the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Again, I'm getting that strength card. I mean, this is about, especially if you're a male Taurus. Um, if you're a female, maybe you've got, you know, a strong male, uh, maybe an Aries uh, coming into your life. But if you are a, a Taurus male, then maybe it's about you embodying that more uh, aggressive or take charge type of, of male. Okay. So I hope this resonated with you, Taurus. And for everyone else, give me a break. I'm going to go and take a pause and I will come back. When the house is cooler because I'm sweating from cooking and after I eat dinner. And uh, I'm going to be shuffling for the sign of Gemini. I'm going to be doing Gemini. Okay, so I, this, let's talk about the Gemini. So this was a weird reading. Okay, so I just want to preface it by saying this was a weird reading for Gemini. Now, we've got several things going on. Like right now, we've got Jupiter and Gemini. And I believe Jupiter is retrograde. And we've got Saturn in Pisces, which is, I also believe is retrograde. Now I'm going to check just to make sure I'm, I'm right on both of these. Um, and it looks like I am. Um, the funny thing is Saturn has kind of moved out of range with that Jupiter. So... That's good. That's good. You know, 
but it the jupiter is is um well it, it's good it's, it's going to be fine i think uh, i you know right now jupiter is exactly sextile uh chiron and chiron is an aries and the funny thing is um chiron is like a wounded healer it heals wherever it is but it's wounded right so in your case it would be i guess for a gemini it would be like in your solar 11th house which is your hopes and your dreams and your wishes so maybe there's something going on with that now i don't even think i showed you the card yet did i did i tell you what the first card was uh uh gemini it's it's the temperance card and the temperance card is well your opposite it's it tells me right away that first of all you need to have patience with whatever is going on you need to have patience okay and be able to wait and to get the information and and to act intelligently and um really it's all about having patience right it's about that and being able to wait until it's the right time because sometimes we want to push things because we think it's the right time. And let's not forget the temperance card is the ruler of Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is the opposite of Gemini. It's your opposite. So some of you guys might even be dealing with like enemies, okay? And uh, people who oppose you because that would be the opposite. And I can't help but notice in this card, like it's got like angel wings and everything. That's like, in a way, Sagittarius is also justice. I don't know. I just feel like some Geminis are being opposed by, you know, something higher, like from above. And you've got to deal with that. After all, Jupiter in Gemini is actually in its detriment, even though it's Jupiter. And, um, you know, Gemini is usually a very happy go lucky sign. And Jupiter's always happy go lucky. It belongs in Sagittarius. It's opposite its home. It is not happy. I have talked about this. Everyone looks at it like, oh, Jupiter's in Gemini. That's good. And I'm like, uh-uh. That's, that is, right now, Jupiter is suffering. If you can believe such a thing. Not only is it retrograde, but it's not happy because it's not at home. It's opposing its own self. It's not happy. So it's just some Geminis are going to feel that because you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. This means you are not feeling all that. You're not feeling this. Okay. You're not feeling this opposition, whatever this is. You're not trying to wait. You're trying to get your cups. And and the universe is like, no, you're not getting that right now. Whatever this emotional fulfillment is, you think that you should have or should, you know, already have. Here's the lover's card. Maybe it's in love. Maybe it's a decision about that. But I think it's just in general, you just want to be happy. You want to get what you want, right? Jupiter and Gemini wants to be happy, wants to get their win. They don't want to lose right now. But that that uh, temperance card is telling you to be patient. And I think some Geminis just need to get some rest. You need to get some sleep. <laughs> but you need to heal yourself. You might need to, you know, do something like yoga or meditation or a retreat or a vacation or something because here's the ten of cups in reverse i'm telling you it is a theme here it, you need to take care of you because it is hard for you to get what you want the ace of cups the ten of cups in reverse they're, they're not coming to you right now you might be like trying to force that thinking i want i whatever it is fill in the blank but it's just not the right timing for it. There's a pig's fly card. I mean, it's the page of cups. Yeah, you might be thinking page of cups about your emotional fulfillment and and imagining it and, and emotionally attached to it, having these dreams of grandeur, getting these things. But I can't guarantee that you you will. I mean, but I would think even though Jupiter and Gemini is in its detriment, it is still Jupiter and you might still pull off the great win because you got the sun in the current position. Gemini's, I'm upset about this because I don't want Gemini's to win, but some Gemini's are going to win through all of this. It's just about you being patient. 
Now, it, it, it could just be because I'm, you know, I'm a Kamala girl because she got Gemini rising. Maybe it's Gemini rising too. <laughs> I just remember that. But it, it, hey, you got the sun in the current position. I don't care. That to me tells me the potential for you to witness there. You just have to be patient. But Gemini, look, and I'm telling you, it is about your patience because the eight of pentacles, whatever this learning, this new uh, education or getting more money or getting more two of wands in reverse. Also, you, uh, you know, that desire to get out and about and travel and have your dreams met. That's a problem. And the four of wands, I don't know. I, you know, with these all coming in reverse, even after the sun, I, I just want to, you know, just say, I, I want Gemini's to be aware that, you know, Ju Jupiter and Gemini is in its detriment. You may not still, even with all of this, be able to win now. It's saying to be patient. It starts with temperance. But the fact that cards like the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, these are cards that would have given you, you know, whatever it is you want. And they're all in reverse. So I, this is just not the time to push for what you want. And I I am hoping that some Geminis understand and that this resonates. Sometimes we had to put things off to a better time because it's just not the right timing. On the bottom of the deck, you have Nine of Swords. I, I sense that. Nine of Swords. It, 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 this is not only are you in your head, but you're having nightmares and everything about this. You know something's wrong. You you know it. You feel it. But um, you, it's it's that you may not have a, a solution because you want what you want, and it's hard to understand why you can't get what you want right now. So that could be part of the issue. Is you know sometimes we just don't even want to accept that we can't get what it is we want. We want what we want when we want it. <laughs> That's what we want. Now, I think you're on to something, maybe working with somebody or on a new project or something that is going to maybe pay off eventually, uh, Gemini. But I don't know if it's paying off now. You know what I mean? And I just want you to be careful about that. Now, I, you know, I didn't realize the lover's card was in reverse because I was about to read these because you got three major arcana. And you have the temperance and then the lovers in reverse and then the sun. So I'm what I'm thinking here with, first of all, the temperance is, like I said, you have to have patience, Gemini. Please have patience because some of y'all might be getting all upset. And this is true in a relationship or with love. Like, I don't think any good decision is going to happen. Well, you know, at this moment, maybe with the romance card, the lover's card in reverse. It might not be the right time to make the, you know, have the conversation, whatever that is. But you got the sun. So I think overall, you're going to have vitality or feel like you win or or dealing with that. But um, I think you have to have patience. So if it doesn't come right away in November, then wait until December. And uh, well, no, that's going to be your opposite time. Gemini's, I'm telling you, you're going through a bad path. I want you to be careful. And prepare yourself, you know, like just in case if, if things don't always go your way. Some Geminis have gotten used to things going their way all the time. And sometimes it's not going to work out that way. It could be also because, like I said, the Pisces Saturn is retrograding and eventually it's going to go back over everything again. And some Geminis are going to be like, oh, I got to go through that square again. So, you know, some of y'all are dealing with that and that's never any fun. So I think there's a, you know, a couple of things that are affecting Gemini and, you know, some Geminis are not feeling it right now. And I'm just saying <laughs> it might be better if you have Gemini rising than if you are a Gemini, maybe that will help. But I just said some Geminis are disappointed um, or will feel that, you know, lots of opposition right now and it seems like. Because after Scorpio season is going to be uh, Sagittarius season. And I think that is, you know, that's 
opposite you. So it's, it's not not the best time of the year for Gemini anyway. So let's move on to the next sign, which is Cancer. Let's see what we're going to tell the sign of Cancer already shuffling. Hoping to get some cards to come out soon. But uh, I like cards that pop out. That's, uh, you know, that's the way I do it. And uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer uh, to get the cards to pop out. So, you know, I, I sit here and run my mouth and do all kinds of things until that happens. But I like doing it because, like, I it's Cancer. And I'm going to tell you right now, Cancer, your first card was a Nine of Cups. So it was worth the wait. First of all, it was Cups. It's a Nine. It's your Cups. You know what I'm saying? That tells me whatever I tell you the rest of this reading, it is all good in the hood. I think something good wants to come into cancer, whatever it is, especially I think with feeling like you're satisfied with life and getting what it is you want. I think some of y'all are, yeah, here comes the cars, here comes the message. Okay. Oh, get it, Cancer. I love that that came out there. Oh, beautiful. Let's see, we got to get at least one more. It wants to, but it's not come out yet. Whatever, it, there or something. Is that that working you like this? I think it is. So, okay. Let me put you over here. And like I said, Cancer, your first card was the Nine of uh, Cups. That was uh, right away. I love that Cups were your first card. And I love that it was the Nine. It's not quite the Ten, but it's almost there. It's telling me there. this is about you reaching for your emotional fulfillment. You want to be happy. I think you've been thinking about your past when maybe you were happy. Or maybe when you weren't. I'm not sure. But I have a feeling it's back when you were happy. And when you felt things were good. You know. I feel like whatever it is that you think that you don't have now. You do have the ability to go back and get that. Like I feel like sometimes we. Um, we forget what it is that we did. You know to create the happiness before. But you still possess whatever it is that created that happiness before. I just feel like with the moon, um, you know, and you being a cancer, I just feel like you probably get emotional about it. And we can fool your, sometimes we can fool ourselves. We can lie to ourselves. Like we could tell ourselves, oh, if so-and-so hadn't done such and such and such, this would have been da 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 When it wasn't so-and-so's fault at all, it was your own darn fault. And you know it. But it's easier for us to blame somebody else, you know, take the blame off of me, you know, that type of thing. And then we don't get the emotional healing that we need because we, we don't face up to the truth and reality of what's really going on. And here's the five of swords just saying that. Look at that. The bird's picking at his brain. Look at that. That's it. Because he's not dealing with it. He's not thinking. He's not thinking about it. It's, you know, maybe he is thinking too much. <laughs> not being he's not in touch with himself emotionally but he's thinking right and, and needless thoughts probably that have nothing to do with anything here's a knight of cups this could that could be you cancer but i think it's definitely something good that wants to come through or maybe you've got an offer that you want to make to somebody maybe you do want to reach out to somebody but you haven't done it or something like that or you're waiting for somebody to reach out to you but they haven't done it or something like that so it's like ah oh. well look in the current position is the queen of cups and that is you cancer that is you especially if you're a female listening this is you getting in touch with your emotions maybe getting some form of emotional fulfillment coming your way I mean, you had the magician in this reading, so I feel like you can achieve anything, Cancer. And here's the three of wands. When you have courage, when you look forward to whatever it is you want. You know, I I have a feeling that some, I think some people, what is going on out there? What was that? There is something going on out there. Anyway, I think sometimes 
some people think you have courage and you might not feel like you have courage, right? To get things done. There's the king of wands also here. So the, I do sense this is about courage <laughs> a little bit, but I do sense it is, we've got a lot of fire here at the end. And I'm thinking that it, it might be that you're dealing with somebody who is an Aries, a, a Leo, a Sagittarius, but somebody that um, is popular and in charge, but I'm sensing it's about you having the courage. It's about you having the fire. It's about you being the leader. And maybe working with some other people, Three of Pentacles, to get where you need to go. Um, sometimes, have you ever um, worked on something and you can't get it done? Like for some reason, it just doesn't work. But when you work with someone else, you know, together you're able to get it done. Like it gets done easy almost. And it makes you wonder, like, why couldn't I get it done my own, on my own? Um, but it may be that you need to have uh, someone with you, like, work with someone. And when you do, I think that's going to lead to... Um, I think you're going to be lucky when you're working with someone else. That's what I think. But hold on for a second. I want to check something because I don't do this enough um, it's been a while so i want to check something else like if i can get to it in time because gosh it's taking a minute here i wanted to check on something because i my brain isn't uh telling me right away uh, and i if i can find it i'll i'll tell you if i yeah, this just tells me I have not been doing my my uh, readings enough. It's like I forgot where all my stuff is. <laughs> right? It's because I've not I've not been doing my stuff enough. Um, like I really have not, and that's that's not good. I'm supposed to be the astrology lady. How's that going to work if I'm not doing the astrology? Okay, let me see. Maybe I had it somewhere else. Did I? Meanwhile, I got you guys all waiting. I am so sorry. I'm just trying. Because you know how you know you have something? But it's like, where is it? So you, oh wait. Maybe this is it. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this just shows I have not looked here in like a year. <laughs> it's true. I haven't. It's because why do I? I don't need it. I know it is by heart. Anyway, except for this, I forgot what two threes are. And it says here, you need to seek support from a group. I remember now, uh, like a group of people. I said you need to work with other people. So I was already on it. But it, it is about you getting support from other people. It's about you and other people. Also, if you're in a relationship, seek help from a counselor, a priest, a therapist, some friends, books, videos. And in business, if, if you get into like a group or coaching program, that'll help but it's all about other people i you know i kind of hit on it but like i said it's been so long since i've looked it up i forgot where it was so i wanted to find out anyway you had two major kana in your reading you had the magician in the moon and i love that i mean first of all it, it, the moon is your card cancer <laughs> you got your card if anyone's going to know how to manage the moon it's going to be a cancer and also you got the magician, which I love that. It's, I feel like you're able to achieve whatever it is you need to achieve during this time. Let's not forget it's Scorpio season. I mean, my goodness, Scorpio season, that's your fifth house. My gosh, you take advantage of that. I mean, and maybe this is what this is like with the, uh, the magician. I mean, this is Scorpio season. This is lucky. 
I, I, I do sense that with um, the three here, like if you want to take a chance and, and, and try your luck, then go for it. On the bottom of the deck, though, it is the devil, which is Capricorn, which is the opposite of the Cancer. So I want you to be care careful when it happens to be on the bottom of the deck. And it also tells us about the seven deadly sins, you know, the, the gluttony and the, the sloth and, and the lust and the envy and all of that kind of stuff. So I want you to be careful of that greed and all the other things that we do that are bad and cause problems for us. So I want you to watch out for that cancer. But other than that, I, I think when you work with other people, and you you uh, keep striving for something good and, and go back in the past and get stuck in what didn't go right the last time you know if we concentrate on what we couldn't do the last time we won't have a next time we, we need to work on the next time and forget about the last time okay so i hope this resonated with you uh cancer and i hope that uh you know, I hope something good happens for cancer. Okay. <laughs> Don't play the lottery. I think you should play the lottery, cancer. Okay. Make sure you do that. Okay. Get luck. <laughs> Get luck. Because I think something good wants to come in. So let's hope that does work for you. So we're on to Leo. Let's see what we're going to tell the sign of Leo. What are we telling the sign of Leo? Ooh, that came out right away for me. What's going on with Leo? Ooh, interesting. Ooh, very interesting. Very Leo card to get right there. Oh, there we go. What's this here? And that's it. Okay, so we've got, do we have? Yeah, we've got the first set. Okay, let's see. I should have grabbed that or not. Okay, so I'm going to take all three of those. So, Leo, I've got your cards ready. You know, it's funny. The first card that came out makes me wonder, like, what have you been through? It's a ten of swords. And... I just feel like, first of all, I love the card because in the, in the card, she's walking away. She's like had enough, right? She's had enough. Okay. She's walking away. But it's the idea that you've been through it. Like whatever you've been through, you've been through it already. I have a feeling it might've been in a relationship because the higher thing is here. It, it might've been some kind of training or a teacher, or some kind of learning experience, but I think it might've been a relationship. Some Leo might be getting out of something. I feel like whatever it is, it's about you um, maybe reaching out to other people or working with other people, trusting other people. Some of that's hard. You know, after you've been burned and you're, you're, um, you've are you're you got to learn how to trust again, especially if you're getting into a relationship. Oh, God. But even trusting people like in friendships, or in partnerships, like working with other people, even that's hard if you've been burned. I'm just thinking that here's a death and rebirth. Yeah, like if you've been burned or um, someone let you down, and something you know something ended, something died because it didn't work out, or someone let you down, they lied to you, they cheated. I don't know what they did, but I feel like this might have been something. 
but now it's time for the rebirth, right? It's time to come back from it. And sometimes it is so hard to come back from whatever it was, <laughs> fill in the blank, right? But it's hard to come back from it because it destroyed us <laughs> in some way. But look, here's the nine of wands. And I feel like this, once you get passion, once you get drive, once you get that fire in your butt, like once you you get that fire in your gut, it's because Leo's work on that 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 drive anyway, on that passion, that fire. And once you get that, once that energy, that fire comes, like nothing is going to stop you. Once that fire starts, it's going to be like a locomotive, like an Amtrak train <laughs> straight to its destination. Nothing will stop you. But first, you got to be ready and willing to leave whatever that was. You've got to be ready and willing to leave that behind. And I mean, this is you actually mentally moving away from it whatever it is it's like you once you get the fire in your butt that's it you're you're done i mean who wants to stay in this ten of swords anyway you're ready to get rid of that ten of swords energy once and for all anyway here's the four of wands and the party in two at the end of it like hey we're done like and here's the ace of pentacles right on top the money comes in the party like you're you're ready to let all of the the bad time so you're ready to party you're ready to have the money you're ready to party and look at this here's the page of cups yeah when pigs fly something good's coming i just feel like that it's sitting on the ace of pentacles like that i feel like something good is coming and i feel like you've been waiting for it for a long time been a while you've been waiting and working and seven of pentacles planting and and, and plotting and, and organizing and praying and hoping and and putting all the things together in, in, in hopes that it would come to fruition. But so far, you might feel like it, nothing worked. I've tried everything, yet nothing's ever worked in my favor. But I'm telling you, something good is coming. It wants to come your way. You've got stuff going uh, or coming. I'll just check and see if you've got any other. Okay, so here's what I see here. I just wanted, I always like to pull the cards apart and see any hidden meanings. First of all, you had the Ace of Pentacles. And no matter what, you had the Ace of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is money, Leo. So no matter what, I know that's coming in. And I feel that distinctly. But I feel like this has a lot to do with your own drive and willpower. This is 210. This is willpower, drive, ambition, that type of thing. Like, you'll get the money. You'll get all of that. Ace of Pentacles when you have the drive and the ambition to do so if you're working toward it you'll make it happen but you've got to have that like you've got to put that drive and ambition into everything you do here's a higher thing um this might be like you're learning something new but also it could be that you this could be a commitment there's death and rebirth first year so you might have gotten out of something and now you have to recommit to it again like a death and rebirth with the hierophant, this could be more training or this could be a new relationship or a new commitment. Maybe you were in one and that ended and now it's, you're about to take the next step and get into a new one. So it could, that could be something that's happening too. Oh, but whatever it is on the bottom of the deck, I see the nine of swords. I feel like you, whatever, Maybe that's why I saw, didn't I see the courage card up here? I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you are going to need to have courage to do it. I really do. Because you you just came out of, you know, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And yeah, yeah, the Nine of, the nine of Wands, you're going to need the passion. So I, I feel like for you, um, especially with the Nine of Swords, get your mind right first. Because if you go into anything with this mindset, it's going it, you're going to have trouble. The Nine of Swords is like nightmares and bad thoughts and negative uh, mindset and everything. It may actually be a negative mindset that's keeping you from getting whatever it is you're trying to get. So I would first fix the negative mindset first. So that you can get whatever it is that you want. 
you know, sometimes we work on the wrong thing. We, we, we pursue the money, but we, we're not healed enough to make the money. So you, you've got to heal yourself, okay? And I think from a deep level, maybe even from a spiritual level of healing, um, it's, it's going to help you in the long run if you do that, okay? And that way, I just get this vibe that some Leos have been chasing and not getting what they want so good luck Leo. good luck with that i i hope this works out i mean next month is going to be sagittarius season so if you've got to wait until you know the end of november to start for things to start working out for you then you know wait till the end of november because that that'll be sagittarius season that'll be really good for you Leo. okay so much love to you, Leo. So let's move on to Virgo. Let's see what we're telling the sign of Virgo. Virgo, you got the Hierophant first. This is, might have something to do with your marriage. Oh, Lord. Or your commitment. Oh, God. Or some kind of training or teaching. Especially if you're a trainer or a teacher or something. Or, oh, goodness. I, those first two cards. I'm, I'm shocked that Virgo got those first two cards. I'm, I'm upset now. Like, really? What's going on with Virgo? Lord. Oh, wait. Oh, Lord. Goodness gracious. I, I mean, that fell over. I don't know if that one is there, but I, I let it go. What is going on, Virgo? Lord, my Virgo. Oh, I see what's going on now in that card. Sitting in the main position. Oh. Yep, that's that's it too. Mm -hmm. What else is going on? What's that? I mean, well, that didn't really pop out, so let me give it another shot. Oh, Lord. Oh. I gotta take it. So Virgo, I got a story to tell you, Lord. First of all, you start with the Hierophant, okay? So again, this you could be dealing with a Taurus. This might have something to do with a Taurus, Scorpio axis. Um, don't know if you're dealing with you know Tauruses or Scorpios, or if that's ish, an issue. <coughs> this could do with your marriage as well. Um, but this, you have the tower over this. You know, this is a this is a Scorpio, uh, 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 a Taurus Scorpio cross, basically, with them sitting on top of each other. And it makes me wonder. Like, I mean, my first thought is, oh God, an ending of a marriage, you know, or an ending of a commitment, or someone breaks a commitment, or uh, it might be some issues with training, uh, maybe. Uh, a contract is ended with some type of training that you do or maybe you end uh, some type of uh, schooling that you might be doing. This might have something to do with legalities as well. I see the seven of pentacles. This could be something that you started as well uh, from a financial viewpoint. It's just in the baby stages as something you're growing. Look at this. This is you, the empress. Virgo, so it's maybe some new project, some, you know, your creative baby that you're working on. I feel like you might even be a little obsessed with it, with the devil here. I want you to be careful about how much energy you're putting into that, especially if it doesn't lead to anything or hasn't. But it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn or um, something that has to do with the things that you really want. I always say the devil is the seven deadly sins. So think about all of those things like lust and gluttony and and, and, and envy and, and, you know, all of that stuff. Greed and that thing. Here's the king of wands. So, I, you know, it's funny. This may have something to do with uh, being a leader. Uh, maybe you're, you're dealing with someone who's a male who is a, a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius, or it might just be that you need to embody some of those dominant male 
qualities yourself. You know, the King of Wands is a strong, confident, well-dressed, sexy man. That's the way I see the King of Wands. And he is always in charge. Like, he is not a subordinate, ever. He doesn't know how. He won't make a good support. So, I mean, I feel like that could be part of the issue is that you need to have some of that, um, what they call the masculine, dominant masculine um, in your chart, uh, Virgo. Virgos tend to be a little timid. So it, it might not hurt to be the boss, to be the teacher, right? The hierophant and, and, and the judge and the, and the boss and the leader. In the current position, you have the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is, is an interesting card because it is about getting on to the right road, making the right plan of action. Like once you create this amazing plan of action that'll get you where you need to go, it, it could be something creative that you're working on. It will, you will go so fast. It'll be like the speed of light, but you have to first create this this road, this avenue, this method, this means of getting to wherever it is you're trying to go. Once you discover that, once you create that, it, it, you're going to be going there so fast. Look at this strength card. This, again, to me is a Leo card. It's like you're surrounded by Leo, but it also could just be that there's strength in um, that passion and that fire and you're doing that. And it might be that you just need to get some rest. I, I, you know, the, your strength, I think, is going to be in getting your rest. I really believe that. I think some Virgos have been struggling with their health. And you need to get some rest. Here's the, the page of Pentacles. I think also it gives you time to work on your money, give your money time to grow. Uh, and especially when if you're feeling ill. You know what I mean? There was an extra card that came out. It was a Nine of Swords. This just tells me that Virgos have been worried about everything. I think you've been worried about money because it was sitting on the page of Pentacles. And I just feel like you've been worried about everything, though. Just every single blessed thing. <laughs> just, like, I just feel like I just sense the worry. I feel the worry just emanating from Virgo. And I, I don't know how long you've been in that feeling of complete and total worry, but I sense it. That you've been worried and my goodness you got so many major arcana um let's see here you've got uh five major arcana so let's look over these like individually so you got the hierophant you got the tower you got the empress the devil and strength and i've talked a little bit about it but when i put them all together it tells its own message so i like to do that but the Hierophant really does deal with learning and teaching and commitment, like the, in a relationship, a lot of that. It's Taurus. So all of the things of Taurus, I often think about when I think about the Hierophant. I want, I want to do this because I, I have not. This little uh, thing here, I just want to see what it says about the Hierophant because I have not looked at it, I don't think, ever ever i just always just give my two cents so this is what it says because this is a, a light seer's tarot so i knew it was going to have some other different meaning than i'm used to and it says here outdated systems or ways of thinking so i think i said something about you uh, making a plan or doing something different this is about outdated um systems or ways of thinking or dogma or rebelling against societal norms or abuse of power, stagnation, ego-based leadership, a need to connect with the spirit. Now, I think it's weird that it, the ego-based leadership popped up when the the first six cards, it was started with the Hierophant and then it had the single wand. So that's leadership all over the place. And it's a need to connect with spirit. I am my own guru and the guidance I need is rooted in my faith, my belief, and my unique essence. So I think at the bottom of everything, that's really the message. No matter what else I tell you, um, that's really your main message, okay? But I'm going to read these backwards because I like to do that. 
And when I do it, um, or here, at least what I'm looking at is the tower and the empress, the devil, the strength, the hierophant. No, we had that, that the higher friend, I think, over the tower. And the funny thing is, I feel like with that, it's about if you, I just sense like if you don't try something new, because you had the um, empress right after, it's about you trying something new and being creative. When you do that and break that stagnation um, and go for your goals, not just for the money, like greed or something devil. But when you go for your creative abilities, what inspires you, what isn't stagnant, not what isn't like uniform, but what you do based on your heart and your spirit, what moves you and your passion, your passion and make a plan of action about it. Whatever it is, this is all new. Create something new, a new method, a new way of doing things. And when you do that, I'm telling you, Virgo, it's all going to work in your favor if you're going to have success at that point. On the bottom of the deck, King of Swords. So you might have to do some investigating and looking around and learning things and gaining. And you're the King of Wands, so you might be working with men. But I feel like it, when you do your investigations and you gather details and facts and analysis, then you're going to win. I feel like that's going to be the secret to your success is that you are doing this great uh, research or rational analysis and data and all of those different things. Because the King of Swords is really information and fact-based. You might even be uh, doing uh, different uh, research or uh, doing things online even or uh, reading lots of books or journals or anything like that. I just sense that is something that's going on with Virgo. Either way, I wish you the best, Virgo. May you uh, create something new and uh, amazing that leads to your success. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on to the next. Uh, and this is actually the last sign of, of uh, the evening. This is going to be for the sign of Libra. So let's go ahead and do this for Libra. And I'm glad we, oh, I just dropped something on the floor. I'm glad we got to the last card. Oh, the last card. The last sign. The last, and it was the full card. It, I didn't keep it, but that would have been your opposite. That would have been Aries. So if I would have kept that, that would have been weird, right? So let's see if it comes out again it means it's meant to come out um but let's see what i get as far as the cards go okay oh, you're the first person i've that's gotten these cards tonight not funny how every sign is different but you have gotten cards no one else has gotten i love that I wondered if they wanted to come out, and I guess they did. <laughs> they literally fell over. Okay, let's turn those around. It's too many. Let's try again. Again. Okay, I think that, oh, okay, I think that's it. There were two cards sticking up, so I grabbed them both, okay? So this is the last reading I can do that. So this is for the sign of Libra, and Libra, the very first card you got was the star. First of all, I love that you got the star, and you were the first person that got the star all night long. What I love about it that you got this, Libra, is that the star represents Aquarius, and Aquarius would be trying or positive or harmonious with Libra. It also indicates that you need to have a dream, a focus, something that you hit yourself onto, like a, hit yourself onto a star. So what is that? What is that that you're focused on that you want? Here's the high priestess Libra. 
And the high priestess also is telling me that when you use your intuition, you'll be able to focus, you'll be able to get what it is that you want. Um, but it's about using your intuition. Maybe you'll have a dream about what it is you want. You had the Ace of Swords. After the star, the high priestess, there's the Ace of Swords. This is you literally being victorious in just about anything you want. I keep saying it, but I, I feel like that's what it is. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. Now, that could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. But I really believe, Libra, that this is you getting what you want in money. I mean, this Ace of Swords is touching this Queen of Pentacles. And so I do believe this is the potential, at least for money. And look, here's the Page of Pentacles right after the Queen of Pentacles. So I, you're thinking about money as it is. You're probably communicating somehow about money. But I don't. I think the money is all around you. I think you just can't see it, Eight of Swords. I feel like you can't see it. You don't. You may tell yourself you don't have any money. Here's the, uh, the strength card. I feel like the, you, this this strength card is about your uh, passion and your drive. You know, sometimes we don't have the passion, the fire to get what we want. And we got to accept that. I mean, it's in your current position. So I know what is weird is that you had the star in the the first card and in the current position the strength which is you had basically Aquarius and Leo so I don't know Libra if you're dealing with an Aquarius or Leo if you've got Aquarius or Leo rising or moon um, it might be uh, both Aquarius and Leo do very well with Libra so if you're like in any kind of situation with an Aquarius or a Libra or, or, or um, uh, Aquarius or Leo, then I understand that might that might actually work. Here's a hermit card. I feel like you have to just get in touch with yourself. Maybe that's going to help you to build your strength and to get your passion. But you need to take some time, I think, to pray, to meditate, to get back in touch with yourself. Look at this Ten of Wands. Walking away from stuff that just doesn't work. You might have been doing a lot of things that has not really been working. And you felt that and you know it. And you're like, wait, I got to stop doing this. I got to quit this job. I got to break up with this guy, whatever it is, because it's not working. And you keep doing it is not going to make it work more. Like it's not going to suddenly work when it's never worked before. And I feel like once you do that, once you break off from whatever it is that's not working and get creative with whatever it is, get more in touch with your creativity and do something that you really want instead of doing what you're you feel like you have to do but you being like really creative you want to do something really creative like start a podcast uh you know build a TikTok. i don't know what you're up to but something like that libra and if you do that i think it's going to pay off here's the four of wands at the last card i feel like that first of all that's celebrating and that's partying at the end so yeah hit yourself onto a star and you'll party at the end i'm telling you that's actually a very good card to end with but i just feel like for you in general libra this is all about you preparing and for something good i feel like sometimes we forget to prepare for something good Maybe because we don't always get what we want and then after a while we get disappointed and then we just don't think we're going to get anything but you need to prepare for what you want you need to prepare for something good i i just feel like you have not been preparing for something good. You've just been dealing with whatever it is you've been getting, tin can, whatever. And Libra, that's not you. You deserve better than that. You know you're worth more than that. You you deserve better than that. You got the Ace of Swords no matter what. So you're going to be victorious. Like, the Ace of Swords is I'm victorious. And it's your Ace. Okay. <laughs> Let me not miss that it's your Ace, Libra. Who's winning? Libra's winning. That's who's going to win. Because right now, and I feel like, uh, you know, Scorpio, that's your second house. But, you know, it's going to be in Sag soon. And when it gets into Sag, it's going to be a sextile you. So that's going to be great. All of that. You know, I didn't realize you had uh, this many major arcana, but you had four major arcana here. You had the star, you had the high priestess, you had the strength and the hermit. 
So the star, like I said, hit yourself onto it. What is what do you want? What what what's your dream? What what's your hope, wish, your dream? What do you want? What are you going for? When you you use your intuition, high priestess, when you use that third eye to get what you want, you're, that's your strength. You're going to be able to get that. I think you need to pray, meditate. I think you need to do binaural beats, some EFT tapping. I, I mean, if you need to go on a retreat, do something like that. But when you do that, you're going to win. Oh my gosh, and a magician. And when you do, you're going to be able to get everything. You've got all the tools you need to win. You are going to be victorious. I believe that. Libra, you will win. Okay? You just need to know that have a plan and understand you've got all the tools that you need to win. Okay. All right. This has been my reading for you, Libra. And I hope that resonates with you. I hope you do go and hit yourself onto a star, onto a dream. There's nothing worse than not having a dream, right? Especially when something good wants to come in, but then the person, sometimes they're so beaten down because Nothing they want it ever works out for them. You know, I hear that a lot. And then you then you don't do anything. You don't you don't take advantage of the opportunity that is there for you, that the universe has provided for you. And sometimes winning is just a matter of being aware that the opportunity is there for you to take. I'll give you an example of that. I'm gonna take my my headset off. A good example of that is my daughter, Christiana. She hates when I talk about her, but when she takes a chance, she's usually luckier than most people. And that's because she takes a chance more. She's got her son, Moon and Mercury in the fifth house of taking chances. So, you know, she's been very lucky with games of chance, like uh, uh, games and lotteries and, and stuff like that. So I just feel like that is a secret um, is, you, Another uh, good saying is you, you got to be in it to win it. Like you're not going to win a lottery if you don't uh, get into the lottery. You can't win a scratchy unless you buy a scratchy. You can't win a contest unless you enter a contest. I, I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a matter of doing that. Once you do that, it, your chances of winning go up exponentially because you put yourself in the game. So make sure that you're putting yourself in the game. Okay. That, I guess that's my point. Anyway, you guys, this has been Adrian Capricorn Tigers of Astrology Look Inside. I just had to come and mess with my hair because it got completely messed up <laughs> the whole time I was doing that. But this has been fun. I always have so much fun doing these readings and I thank you uh, anyone who's been waiting, because th these were a little bit later than the others I did on Wednesday. So much love to you. Much light, many blessings. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to go and, and register at gregarious1.com. When you register, you can uh, post uh, comments and stuff on the videos and stuff like that, okay? All right. Much love to you. Bless you. This has been fun. I had fun. Much love to you. I just wanted to put on the cue song before I left. <laughs> Oh, like, wait a minute. I want to have a good dancing song before I go. You know how to have a good song to dance out to. So let's do that. Let's do that. Hey. All right. Hey. <laughs> yes. Much love, much light. Thank you, blessing. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah.